Hey there, uh, didn't see ya. It's Monday. We're doing a Monday reset for the week. Getting ready, set up, good to go. We're gonna start the morning off with a workout. I even found my Fitbit and I charged it. So let's just see how many calories I burned doing a little stepper workout. Let's find out for science. <coughs> let's go. Workout done, I did a little bit of stretching after. It looks like we burnt around 182 calories. Cool, good, love that for us. Let's shower and get some breakfast before I fade away. It's gonna be so nice because I cleaned the absolute shit out of this bathroom yesterday. Not that you'd be able to tell, but we did a deep scrub and this is gonna be a real nice fresh shower. Fresh and showered, clean. Uh, here's the fit check for the day. I'm wearing a flannel, a little navy tank top, got some jeans. And of course, wrong leg, fuzzy slippers. And the perfume we're wearing today is um, Meliora by Parfum de Marly, and it smells so sweet and fruity and a little bit floral, but not overly so. Nobody cares about that. Let's get on with the stuff we need to do to reset for the week. So we need to work out, check. Shower, check. Put on cute outfit, check. Food prep, I need to chop up some veggies. Maybe make some couscous and some quinoa, perhaps, if I have any. I think I do, not a lot, but like enough that we can make it. We need to vacuum upstairs. I did down here yesterday, along with just like a general tidy, even though you already can't tell. We need to change the sheets in the bedroom upstairs. We need to wipe the floors down here from all the dirty dog paws that have been happening, clean the oven, and use up the overripe bananas. That's a lot of things to do in one day, so we'll see how far we get. There are a couple things that I'm okay with putting off a little longer, like cleaning the oven, you know? That can wait a little longer because uh, I can't remember the last time I did it, so it, it'll be fine if it waits uh, a little while again. <laughs> so let's head into the kitchen. Oh Jesus, oh boy, oh Lord, oh, okay. Tripod, hitting everything. Okay, we need to cut some celery, cut some peppers. We'll start there. veggies for a couple days. Ah! So I've got a little bit of quinoa on the go here that I just am cooking in some beef broth. Just for a little extra salty flavored goodness. And then I have my roasted garlic and olive oil couscous on the go as well. It'll be done real fast. Couscous is the best and I love it so much. Highly recommend, eat more couscous. Let's have a quick snack. Would you look at that? By the magic of television, we have a snack prepared already. <laughs> Just made some little crisp breads with some cottage cheese and turkey and salt and pepper. 
Easy, simple, good macros. All right, Briggs, time to vacuum up all of your fur from the carpet. Well, a little bit anyway. We get as much as we can. I know we all know how gross carpet is. This is just from my office and the little hallway. That's disgusting. I mean, the majority of it is dog fur, but there's a lot of dust in there as well. So that's, that's gross. enough of vacuuming. <sighs> Next. Where are my sheets? my favorite little dude. We cuddle every night. I think this is the right way. It is not. Nope. All right. This is not the right sheet. I'm missing like three pairs of sheets. I don't know where they are. I'm very confused. So I have to use these stupid blue ones, which I hate, that don't even go with the green duvet cover. How annoying. Let's do some filming magic. Why is making a bed so much work? I'm making an espresso chunk banana bread with our overripe bananas. I just have my little espresso shot. the banana bread's in the oven. And I'm just thinking how I was gonna clean the oven today. <laughs> so, what time is it? It's about one o'clock now, so I'm not sure if the oven cleaning will happen today, simply because it's going to be warm. We'll see. The banana bread, it's worth it. Oven can wait. All right, so the only things I was gonna do today were to like wipe down the floors in the dog room. I don't know if I feel like doing that. Really don't, I really don't want to, but we should. We really should. Okay, well, there's an hour for the banana bread to bake, so let's just do it, okay? Let's just get it done, get it over with, why not? I just took the banana bread out of the oven and it is like the most beautiful banana bread that I have seen in a long time. Look at this. 
Just check this out, okay? Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Why? Why is this such a beautiful loaf of banana bread? It's gorgeous. It's like an espresso banana bread. And I put in espresso like chocolate chip things that I've had for a long time in my cupboard just to kind of use them up. And then I sprinkled some pecans on top for fun, texture, flavor. It smells so good and I, how am I supposed to wait for this to cool down to eat it? How, how am I gonna do this? But we have to, we must, we must, we must, we must improve our bust. Just kidding, it's way too big already. Look at that. Grant has to be out of town for work and he just left so I wanted to cut up the banana bread and send him off with a couple pieces. So no cute, no little aesthetic cutting video of banana bread, but it was still kind of warm um, when I cut it. So all the like the chips in the bottom got really melty and like so shiny and good. And I knew that this was gonna happen because it was a really, really thin batter that it was going to, like they were all just going to sink to the bottom. You can really tell on this side. <laughs> but um, um, it's like, you get some pecans on the top, you get some nice, plain, delicious banana bread in the center, and then you get like the ooey gooey bits on the bottom. We'll wait until Briggs is done drinking to taste this. I remember at one point saying like, if I tallied up all the time in my videos that I spend eating, like how much time would it really be? And I know it's a lot, but it's because I love food and I love I love like sharing food with people and that's why my job is my job. And um, I know you can't taste this, but I'm reviewing it for you, okay? So you can, then you know that like, it's a good recipe. This is, did I already say what it was? It's an espresso banana bread. So there's a shot of espresso in the, in the, <laughs> there's a shot of espresso in the banana bread itself. And then I had like these Nestle like espresso chips. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> I threw, it, I threw in some of those like espresso chips in there as well. So they're like chocolatey espresso. Okay, enough talking, enough talking. Just taste it. We'll start with the, the espresso bottom bit. Dang, that's good. Oh my man, woo, woo. I don't usually like chocolate in my banana bread that often. I put it in sometimes just for fun, but I always find it way too sweet. But this has like, because it's like espresso chips, they, they're like bitter, but in a way that isn't bitter like dark chocolate. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's really nice and it just is, it's such a good balance between the like sweetness and the, the bitterness of the chips, but they also do have like sweetness in them as well. So it's like, it's just really, really nice. The flavors together is so beautiful. But I think this might bring us to the end of our video here. Um, I didn't get to the floors today and I didn't get to the oven today because I was just tired. I was just exhausted. I did too much, you know? You know, sometimes you just like, you just do too much. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. But I already did enough today, I think. <laughs> the floors can wait till tomorrow. The oven can wait till another day. So we didn't fully complete our reset checklist for the week, but it's okay because there's always tomorrow. Plus I am now single dog mom, so a lot more work and time and energy is going to have to go towards the baby boys. So it's just gonna be me and the dogs hanging out, enjoying this little reset for the next couple days. <sighs> I think that's just gonna about do it for this video. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Subscribe if you're not, that'd be cool. Um, and if you are subscribed already, thanks, love it. Love you very much. And yeah, I just, I had a good time. Today was good. I maybe like overdid it energy wise cause I'm feeling myself crashing real hard and it's like 4 PM, which is fine. You know what? No, that's totally fine. If I'm going to bed in like two hours, it is completely fine to be tired right now. Like completely normal. There's a spider, but he's kind of cute little, little baby small one. So I'll leave him one of those cute little tiny jumpy ones. I love those. They're so cute. Okay. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Thank you so much for watching guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.